Hi everyone, this is Guillaume from Loess. I'm making this video because we often get asked about image sizes. For example, you may wonder what type of image you should use for your hero section in order to avoid cropping or to ensure good resolution when viewed on large screens. So let's look into this and see what you can do to make your store look nice and professional. But first, the term image size is a bit of a catch-all term that can be interpreted in different ways. There's the storage space an image takes, as in kilobytes or megabytes. Most importantly, uh, I want to make a distinction between image resolution and aspect ratio. So it's important to be clear about those concepts to understand how to deal with images in your theme. So image resolution is determined by the amount of pixels it contains. This is what ensures it will look nice and crisp. To avoid images that appear blurry in a hero section that is displayed at full screen, you must understand that everybody's screen size is different, but retina displays on desktop can now go over 3000 pixels wide. That said, it's unlikely that most of your clients will browse your store at full screen on a large display. And then another good thing for you to know is that whenever you upload an image for your theme, Shopify does some magic under the hood and that's because loading very large images can slow down the page loading. Uh, so Shopify's server automatically generates multiple copies of your images at different sizes, from large to small, and it will know which version to display based on the screen size of the user. So you don't have to worry about uploading images that are too large and will harm the experience of your clients on mobile devices using a wireless connection, for example. Knowing that, for images that you want to be displayed at full screen, a general rule of thumb is that images of 2000 pixels wide are acceptable, but don't hesitate to go higher if you have larger assets within the 20 megabytes limit of the platform. On the other hand, the aspect ratio is often referred to as portrait, square or landscape. It's determined by the width and height of the image. So for example, 3-1 means the image is three times as wide as it is tall. So if avoiding image cropping is important for you, this is something you will want to pay attention to. And because of all the different screen sizes that exist, there's no way to guarantee that an image will fill the screen without cropping. But for desktop layouts, an image ratio that's about twice as large as it is tall, or even a 3-2 ratio, should provide good results. And depending on the section you're customizing, our themes often provide a mobile image override, so if applicable, you can use a second version of that image that you would have formatted for mobile uh, using a ratio that ranges between square and portrait. Luckily, we've built our themes with a good amount of section layout options. Uh, so once you have uploaded your image, go to the section settings and watch for the one that's called section height. The option that is called adapt to image or adapt to first image if it's a slideshow uh, is the one that will ensure your image doesn't get cropped. But keep in mind that the height will vary depending on how large the screen is. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching and thanks for having chosen a theme from Lois.